hi guys welcome back to another exciting video today's video is from the modern king it's titled work cafe charges 18 percent man tax and instantly regrets it i'm trying to grasp my head around what's going on here why will you request for 18 percent charges for men Anyway, I'm so interested in this. Before we dive into it, I'm Oge. Welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, hi. Do also like, share, subscribe, turn off your turn up, turn on your post notification bell. Drop in the comment section what you think about this video. Let's dive straight into the video. The cafe in Melbourne is protesting the gender pay gap like we've never seen before. One week out of every month, men pay an 18% premium. The cafe called Handsome Her also has priority seating. Welcome to Handsome Her, where women reign supreme. Of dames, so it's a wall of inspirational women. Sandra O'Brien calls it a space for women by women, with priority seating for females and an extra tax for men. We have an 18% premium for men, which is the same amount as the gender pay gap. I think it's fair if you think about the world, the gender inequality that we have. I think it's a brilliant idea because um, I don't think that many people know the actual gap. They think discrimination and sexism against men is a good idea. And for some reason, the media is praising this, yeah. like this is a good thing. Unfortunately for them, this backfires Men hilariously, as we will later see. But so far, none of the cafe's male cut refused to pay it. I could wear that, yeah, considering that yeah. there is a fair, yeah, it's a fairly unequal pay gap between men and women. The reason why the very tiny amount of male customers that have went there didn't have a problem with paying your tax is because they have no self-respect for themselves. Clearly, since they willingly went to a place that's entire purpose is to discriminate against them for being a man. Uh, yeah, it's a fairly unequal pay gap between men and women. Even though there is supposedly equal pay, it doesn't, it doesn't really equate out there. Staff say the gender tax isn't aimed at excluding people, but rather educating them with proceeds going to charity. First off, the man tax is not the only form of discrimination written in your house rules. I find it hilarious. Very they think hilarious. creating a cafe just to discriminate men was not only socially acceptable, but would actually work. She called every man who called her out for her blatant discrimination and sexism fragile. If a man created that same exact restaurant next door to where she created hers and flipped the rules, she would be livid. Yeah. Google the richest women in the world, like where they got their money from. It's rough. It's rough out there, guys. They, they ain't starting businesses. <laughs> They're marrying dummies. Jerusalem. It's almost Jerusalem. all of it is divorce. Feminists do not want to hear this, but there was one woman who was the richest woman ever from uh, a startup company, Elizabeth Holmes. She had a, ran a company called Theranos. She started it herself, dropped out of college to start this company, and it was a total fraud. It was all fraudulent. She's going to jail forever. <laughs> she was worth $34 billion at one point. It was a blood testing company. They falsified all sorts of data, and they lied to investors and all sorts. Of she used to dress like Steve Jobs. She wore a black turtleneck and everything, and I saw her speak once. I'm done dating, man. I really am. Do y'all see what they said on the news today? 56% of women have a backup plan. 56% of women have a backup plan. And it was that either that old friend or your guy friend, which y'all always say is just a friend. And then you end up being with the friend. They researched, studied this. I literally watched it today. They did a test, a psychology test. Some of them are already happily married, but they still have a backup plan. Why, bro? Why? 21, bro. What exactly is going on between the men and the women in the dating scene in 2024? Like, the dating scene is so crazy. How can 15%? Well, it is a proven, I don't know how true this uh, percentage is. How can 56% of women? have a backup plan especially the married ones like 
what do you hope to achieve? Like, what do you hope to achieve? Do you understand? It is what is still baffling me. Because why would you have a backup plan if you're married? Why did you get married to somebody that you're having a you have to have a backup plan with? Then there is no point of getting married. Do you understand what I mean? The street is brutal. It is so brutal. But let's continue. I'm staying single. I'm staying single. I'm shopping at Target. I'm not I'm not hollering at any girls, bro. I'm done. Now in the wake of my feminist awakening. Feminist awakening. Buckle up. My default position is that I don't care about men's feelings. Oh, what a novel idea. I don't think we've ever heard that before on the internet. And what brought about this great epiphany? I don't care about men's feelings. And that is a position that that is a place I had to arrive at after a lot of self-work. Go on. Because the patriarchy... Of course, the patriarchy. The source patriarchy, of all known of evil in the entire world. Yeah. Now do tell us, what has the bad patriarchy done this time? The patriarchy socializes women not only to care deeply about men's feelings, but to prioritize, to prioritize those feelings over and above our own health. Our own health, our own well-being, our own mental and emotional stability. No. No, it doesn't. I'm really starting to believe that a lot of these individuals out there that have tried to blame everything that has ever gone wrong on society, not to mention what has gone wrong with their own lives, on that nefarious patriarchy, may have unfortunately not been given the skills necessary to be able to navigate society as an adult, in which a person needs to understand that if you don't take care of yourself first, you can't take care of anyone else. What's your age? 26. 25. Of course, you have to love yourself first. Even the Bible says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. That means you have to first love yourself. You have to understand and know what love is before you can give it out. You cannot give out what you do not have. Do you understand? Let's continue. I love that woman's um, response to that story. 25. Should he have any say in how you dress when you come out the house? Absolutely not. I'm going to dress how I want. But you don't think that attracts a certain kind of attention when you're out? I know the way I dress attracts a certain type of attention but i mean my man should be secure you know i think i should take her for who she is yeah so if i like her for who she is right now i should be okay with that in our relationship yeah exactly would you still want to have girls nights even if you were in a relationship with him absolutely i think it's very healthy to have girls nights i'm not gonna okay. stop hanging out with my friends because i'm in a relationship of course i'm gonna prioritize my man but I also, those are my girls. I'm not going to stop hanging out with them and having girl time. Do you feel like this would be appropriate to wear on a girls' night out with your girls? A hundred percent, I think it's appropriate. What gives you that idea? What's wrong with it? I think she looks like a damn snake. I don't know what's wrong with it either. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with it. You don't think it gives a message of, I'm on the market, you know, any guy can come talk to me. Because they can't come talk to me. You can't help how good you look, but you can <laughs> help the response you give to other exactly. people. Exactly. He doesn't care what she does because he has no plan of on marrying course. her. I expect a man to pay for the date. Yes. Yes, the I whole agree. entire date. That includes my Uber to the date and my... I agree. How do? How come he's not bothered about what she's wearing? I'm supposed to take her the way they are. Men are very protective. They actually love to protect what they want. They, want, they, they are very self when it comes to their things. Men are very selfish, so if a man is beginning to tell you, oh, I don't care about what you do, what you say, what you wear, where you go, he doesn't really care about you. He's probably just there for a business and then that's just it. My opinion anyway. My Uber back to my house. If you are a man that I'm interested in, I want to see that you can provide for me. I want to see that you can afford an Uber ride. I want to see that you can afford a nice dinner date. Like, can you afford basic things? Because if you can't afford dinner and an Uber by transportation, you certainly can't afford kids. You certainly can't afford a house. You certainly can't afford my bills. And I got bills to pay. Okay. This sort of list of demands is absolutely a turnoff to all men because they all know that when this is her attitude, she is not reciprocating. She's not putting an effort. She's literally just existing and she'll exactly. actually call that effort. No, a man wants a relationship because of what can be created within that relationship. But when it's pretty clear that a woman just wants to take, 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 especially this early on, that man is just going to look elsewhere or he'll just decide he's staying single. I want to be a wife, but I don't want no man with kids, even though I got kids. That's crazy. 
I know. But I don't have Why why don't you want a man with kids? And you have you have primary custody? Do you have primary custody? Do I have primary custody? Yes I do. It's okay. not the kids. I'm fine with kids. I don't like the baby mama drama. Hmm. How many fathers do you have? One. And where is he? Okay. Incarcerated. For the rest of his life? Mm, not for the rest of his life, uh -huh. no. But he's married. Doesn't matter. Still could be drama. You think so? I don't think so. I don't, I've never had. He's alive. He's oh, alive. But I've never he's had. A, but he, uh, okay, but he's alive. Correct. So you don't want a man with kids because you don't want to deal with possible drama. But you want a man, a, a high value man, to deal with a you woman with kids when a man is in jail. To deal with you and your yeah. kids. That's a logical one. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, how I does that even work? How does that work? <laughs> what exactly is going on? How does it even work? You don't want to marry a man with kids just to avoid baby mama drama. Understood. Nobody wants that, right? But you want a man to marry you with your kids. Do you think he wants to have baby mom, baby daddy drama? I've seen men who have to struggle with their wives who already have kids outside. They have to struggle. They have to, and sometimes it leads to divorce. What exactly is going on? <laughs> These stories are so scary. Is this how women are in 2024? I am curious. I want to know, like, is this the way women now think in 2024? This is actually very scary, to be honest. It is scary. Honestly scary. What? What? The other lady says she wants a guy who is going to pay all her bills. Who is going to make sure that when you go on a date, he pays for Uber, pay for the food, pay for everything. And then you're just going to relax and do nothing. You just want him to give and give and give and give and give and then you're not giving anything. Nah. You're going to be single for a very long time. That's if you want to be, if you want to get married. You're going to be single. Because a man actually wants to see that you have something to offer. That's why this whole conversation about what you bring to the table came to, came to be. Because women are so entitled. They want a man to do every single thing for them. What is wrong with you paying for your own Uber fee? What is wrong with you paying for that yourself? It's a date. He's going to come, you're going to come, you're going to enjoy yourself. What is wrong with you splitting your bill on your date? Especially probably a first date. I feel like a lot of women are entitled, they expect a lot from men and they don't want to give at all. Let me know what you think about this story. There are about five stories in this video with different situations. Let's know what you guys think about these situations in this story. And before, we die, before I go out, I'm okay. Um, do want to like, share, subscribe, turn on post notification bell. Drop in the comment section on what you think about any of this video. Drop, make sure, let's know which one was the highlight for you. Where do you think anybody went wrong? Where do you think is the right thing to do? Um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.